we are going to demonstrate how to apply the invisible shield to an Apple MacBook Air. Before beginning, make sure that you have both bottles of the application solution, the installation instructions, the included squeegee, and a lint-free cloth. Choose a clean environment free of dirt and dust. Make sure your MacBook Air is unplugged and turned off. Then wipe it clean with your cloth. Line up the invisible shield pieces before you begin installing so you know where each one goes. Finally, spray your fingertips with the installation solution. Start with the top piece and carefully peel it away from the paper backing. Spray the adhesive sides as you go, which will help keep the invisible shield from folding onto itself. Carefully place the invisible shield on the device and make sure it is aligned properly. If necessary, you can remove the invisible shield, spray it again, and then realign. Make sure to spray the non-adhesive side as well. This will help the squeegee glide over the surface of the invisible shield. Use the squeegee to push out the bubbles and the excess solution. Use the nearest edge when you can, avoiding ports and openings on the device. Use your cloth to clean off the remaining solution and wipe down the invisible shield. The palming technique is a great tool for any problem areas, like the corners of the top piece. Hold the invisible shield against the MacBook Air with the palm of your hand for 30 to 60 seconds, which helps mold the invisible shield to the corner. Turn your MacBook Air over. Use the same method of spraying the bottom piece as you remove it from the paper backing. Then place the invisible shield on the bottom and align it carefully. Spray the non-adhesive side as well before you use the squeegee. Remove the bubbles in the excess solution with the squeegee avoiding ports and openings. Use your cloth to clean off the solution as you go. Use the palming technique again if you encounter any problem areas. Remove the port cover from the paper backing, spray both sides of the invisible shield, and carefully align it to the MacBook Air. Use the squeegee and your cloth to remove the bubbles and the excess solution. Use the same techniques for the wrist rest area. Make sure you spray both sides of the invisible shield and carefully align it. Use the squeegee to remove the bubbles. Use your cloth to wipe up the excess solution as you go. The strip between the mouse pad and the keyboard can be difficult to squeegee, so we recommend using two fingers to gently push the solution toward the edges. Be careful not to use too much pressure. Use your cloth to clean up. Install the trackpad piece using the same basic methods. Spray both sides of the invisible shield, align it to the MacBook Air, and use the squeegee and cloth to remove bubbles and solution. Finally, install the mouse button piece. Wipe off any excess solution from your MacBook Air. That's it! Your installation is finished. We recommend setting your device aside for up to 24 hours so the invisible shield can dry and cure. You may notice slight streaks or imperfections in the invisible shield from the installation process, which will disappear within a few days.